Welcome to Miss League. I am Blue, and today I am joined by none other than... At Knuffel, Jan. Hi. Hello. Nice to be here with you. Thank you, man. It's good to be with you, too. So, today, guys, we got a special treat for you to open up the Miss League, the, the official cutting of the ribbon, I guess you could say. So, today we're going to have a bit of an exhibition match, I guess you could say, for fun here, between ArenaNet employees, as well as some notable characters from the, uh, the, the community in general. Um, but before we get started, we got a few little announcements to make here, guys. Over the course of tonight, uh, keep your eyes out in the chat, because we're going to be giving out three increments of 10 gold. Keep in mind, you need to be subbed to the channel in order to win these, by the way. Uh, there will be three giveaways of 10 gold each, as well as one gem card. So thanks to uh, MORPG.com, they have supplied us with that. And we're going to be giving those out. In addition to uh, 40,000 gems worth of stuff we'll be giving out tomorrow as well. So be sure to check us out then. Um, and I think that's that's all we have to say, correct? Yes, that's all we have to say. So <laughs> what we should say is that it's sponsored by MMORPG.com. So the giveaways are sponsored oh, by yeah. them. And of course... This is just a show match between ArenaNet and the Mist League guys. We are all looking forward to the league. And um, you can find more information about the league at mistleague.com. And you can follow them on Twitter. It's just at mistleague. And uh, you can just like them on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash mistleague. So easy to remember, I suppose. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to real quick here go over the teams and as well as who these ANET employees are, just so we can go over them real quick. So we're going to have, on the ArenaNet team, we have Jonathan Sharp, who is the design lead, Carl McLean, who is a skills and balance designer, Hugh Norfolk, a world v. world designer, Tyler Chapman, the PvP principal QA, as well as Roy Kroniker, I believe is I'm pronouncing this correctly, is, is a skills and, skills and balance designer. And then for the Miss League team, we are going to be having Blinks, Sup Cutie, Holly Jolly, or Jolly Holly Folly, Hedge, and Grouch as well. We are, I think, waiting for Grouch at the moment, um, but he will be joining the Miss League team as well. This is going to be a best of three exhibition match for fun. And yeah, so let's start looking at uh, builds and stuff, I guess, before we get started here. Let's take a look at our Miss League team first while we wait for Grouch to come in here. Take a look at Blinks, the Elementalist first, who will be running with seven runes of the Ogre. Dagger Dagger, with a Soldier's Amulet, actually. Interesting choice. And his traits will be 0 10 0 30, 30. What can you tell me about that build? I should tell you about that build, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just uh, reading the chat. We get um, a lot of information right uh, here into it. So if you just go ahead with it, I think that will be a bad idea because I haven't listened to you, to be honest. All right, guys, so this build generally looks to be somewhat more of a damage build. However, the, the Soldier's Amulet is somewhat of a weird choice, in my opinion. Usually with this sort of thing, uh, we're going to see a Valkyrie's Amulet, so definitely going to be a little more tanky, but he will be pulling out a lot less healing and uh, critical strike, critical damage, rather, because of the fact he's chosen to forego those statistics in favor of taking the Soldier's Amulet. He's still running with a Berserker's Jewel, however, which is generally a more accepted thing for this sort of build. Moving on to Sup Cutie, everyone knows who Sup Cutie is. We'll be running with five runes of the Eagle, and a six, and two runes of Divinity. The Always famous great sword, sword focus combo with a Berserker's Amulet. And his traits will be 20 20 0, 0, 30. He will be running a Shatter build, being able to deal a lot of damage. However, he will be generally squishy in that regard. However, as we know with Sub Cutie, he's always good with those blink plays, so he'll be porting in and out a lot. Moving on to Folly here. Take a look at his stuff. He will be playing Guardian for the Miss League team with six runes of the Soldier, a Scepter Shield, as well as a Hammer, a Cleric's Amulet. And his build will be 0010-3030. 0, 0, be very tanky, able to take on a lot of damage. And he's also chosen as many Guardians will to take this Consecrated Ground Trait, which will allow him to throw his Sanctuary, which is pretty much just an AoE knockback bubble, um, at range. Little Hedge, take a look at his stuff. He'll be running a Trap build, actually. Very interesting choice. We don't see that a lot now, on NA, especially on NA. We don't see it a lot. With uh, six Runes of the Undead, Shortbow, Sword Torch, a Rabbit Amulet, his traits will be 0, 30, 30, 0, 10. And with the three traps, he'll be able to absolutely melt tanky characters, especially guardians. In my opinion, uh, trap rangers are probably like one of the best one-on-one -on -one, 
Um, <laughs> a trap range is probably the best one-on-one -on -one against a bunker guardian, so we, we're definitely going to see that come into play in team fights, and more than likely he will end up being the main focus, in my opinion. And then last but not least, we have Groucharu, the caster here, taking a look at his stuff with, let's see, two runes of strength, two runes of Lissa, and two runes of the whole wreck for might stacking. Pistol, pistol, rabbit amulet, his traits, 30, 10, 0, 30, an HGH build, always does a lot of damage, and, well, it's squishy, but <laughs> that wraps it up for the Miss League team. Let's take a look at Arena Net now. Taking a look at Chaplin here, let's see what he's got under the hood, with six runes of the Sorry, with six runes of the forge, <laughs> sword torch, a short bow, shaman's amulet, with his traits being 0 0 30 10 30. So he's going to be running a beastmaster build with the addition of that short bow to bring in some additional damage into play there with triple signets, actually. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that plays out. And he's running the bird as well. I'm curious to see what his second pet is because uh, his birds generally are very squishy. So we may actually see him come into play in more team fights. Uh, usually with with a beastmaster range, he'll be hanging on back points. With this build, I might start to see him in the, in the uh, team fights as well. Let's take a look at Roy Cro I I'm sorry, I have a really hard time pronouncing his last name. We'll just call him Roy. So let's take a look at Roy here. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's better. With six runes of the Forge, Pistol Shield, Rabid Amulet. He is also going to be running somewhat different HGH build. He's chosen to put the 10 points into tools um, with 30 0 0 30 10. Still able to deal a lot of damage, but he has chosen to take the speedy kits, which is going to give him a lot of mobility as every five seconds he's going to be able to pop into a kit and give himself five seconds of additional swiftness. Nightmare, a warrior. Oh boy. We have a warrior in play, folks. That doesn't happen a lot. But anyway, six runes of the ogre. A rifle, actually, with axe and shield, a berserker's amulet, his traits being 10, 20, 0, 10, 30, choosing to take that destruction of the empowered trait, which is going to help him against buff classes like guardians and engineers with their elixirs. Choosing to take bull's charge, Frenzy and endure pain with his uh, with his abilities there. And we have Discord here playing Mesmer, opening up here. Let's see what we got. Six runes of the Eagle, sword, sword, sword actually with a great sword. Berserker's amulet. Her traits being ten thirty zero twenty five five. Now I not really good at calling these kinds of build. I, I know you I know you want me to, to do, do them with this, but what do you think we could be seeing with this build? I'm not really sure on this one. Uh, I'm not sh really sure about it either, but it's a fun match. It's a show match. So they actually yeah. um, um, just agreed to play in varieties you don't see that often and oh, okay. agreed to play in a special way. So I guess it's just an experiment. And if it goes right, I mean, we have a new build in our meta, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, for, but looking, looking at it again, the second, I, I, I didn't notice it at first, but I, looking at it a second time, it's, it's sort of popped up a little better. It looks to be sort of a defensive-ish... And again, this is very loosely being called a defensive-ish phantasm build. Um, yeah. Again, very loosely being called, so don't quote it, me on that, because Mesmer is probably one of, my, one of my weakest classes in terms of knowledge right now. But Yeah, I'm a playing a Mesmer on, on live service, and it pretty much looks like the build I created the first time I leveled uh, him up. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be really interesting to see how it works out actually in the game. Alrighty, and then last but not least here we have Power here playing with six runes of the divinity dagger dagger valkyrie's amulet his traits are going to be 0 10 0 30 30 he's going to be able to do a lot of damage but if he's caught in cc he's going to be pretty squishy man so it's going to be fun to see how he can how can he can dish it out and take it in at the same time but i think that wraps it up so we're ready to go assumably and yeah let's get it let's get this show on the road man are you ready yeah, I'm ready, and I'm so super excited about the match. I can't wait to see it. I'm very excited as well. It's going to be fun to see. This is a best... Once again, guys, this is a best of three on the standard map rotation. And for those of you just joining us, this is the grand opening, you could say, for the Miss League. This is an exhibition match between ArenaNet and notable members of the Guild Wars 2 PvP community. Thanks to MORPG and Miss League, our sponsors today. And yeah, I think we're all ready to go. We are, and I hope the players are ready to go as well. They are just starting to ready up. So, um, guys, 
I'm constantly monitoring the chat and we have uh, some moderators and some devs in the chat as well. So just say hello and if you have questions or something, just let us know. Maybe we will pick some and answer them regarding the match. We will not have answers about um, upcoming changes in Guild Wars 2 or something, but maybe we will have some sweepstakes. So please go ahead, ask your questions and we are ready to go. Five seconds to start. We're seeing on the blue team some switches being given out. It seems Hedge is actually not... A, Hedge is actually AFK right now. But we're going to get starting anyway. <laughs> Opening up the map to see where it's being split right now. It looks like the uh, looks like our community team will be taking their Elementalist onto the Henge. You know, ArenaNet will be sending their Mesmer to the mine. We have the rest of the team will be heading up to Keep now. Ranger being the first choice to head on to Keep for the ArenaNet team. While our community team will be sending their Guardian on. Let's take a look at that fight as it erupts now. Yeah, and at the end, the fight is just starting. We see um, Chaplin with his Ranger in it under high pressure, but he's uh, still keeping up to it. Nightmare, though, has problems with Swanee. He's just um, dodging him, and he's trying to do whatever he can. Discord is coming in to help him in this situation, so they will get Swanee down, and now they have 35 points, and in the middle fight, I think it's just starting the middle fight, right? Yeah, the middle fight's really just getting in, kicked into action right now. Currently looking at Power's point of view as he's going around with that dagger dagger trying to deal as much damage as possible. Actually, we did just have Roy Kronecker go down there for the in favor of the community team. However, using his elixir R, he was able to get himself back up there. <laughs> but he has been mowing. Probably not the best position for it, but he is going to get pushed off the point and out of combat in general nonetheless. And he will be back now. Power is seems to be next on the chopping block here. He has just missed form and is currently working his way uh, out of this fight. However, Grouch is moving in on him now along with Blinks here. So uh, it's going to be close, but he may be able to escape this. And it, nope, Blinks will be chasing him and they'll be knocking him out as well. Both bosses have been killed by their respective teams. There will not be a contestion on there. And back over to the mid fight. It looks like Arena Net currently has the... Um, the, uh, influence over the yeah the influence over the middle point at the moment and yeah it's going still could still be could be anyone's point mid but we just to see a portal play though let me see where cutie chose to took that and yeah then. they just portaled up mm -hmm. so uh, out of the choke point to have some time in order to just reorder the team and now they go in and they try to get out these spikes and to uh, stomp some arena net guys yeah <laughs> as far as i can see it's a really nice move we see him when qd plays on his team with fire we actually see this played a lot in tournaments as well so it's good he's carrying it over here uh, back into the fight though we still it really could be anyone's fight mid it's actually looking just based on the health pools i'm seeing right now could be in favor of um could be, it's definitely looking to be in favor of our community team here, as we just did have Nightmare go down. Roy Kronecker is also low here, along with Discord and Chaplin starting to get there as well. Nightmare has just been stomped. Discord's currently hiding in a stealth. His heel is nowhere. Oh, no, he gets pulled in for that burst. Killer burst from Cutie. He's going to get knocked down, unfortunately, along with Roy Kronecker and Chaplin. Devastating kills at the same time. However, we did have the Arena Net team cap both side points. They will be losing the mine now, as we're seeing here now. Blinks has come back to cap it for his team, but it looks as though the community team will be taking the initial cap on middle. Yeah, they will. And um, we see the team has just to reunite. They have to get into the game and they have to just sort things out in order to compete against our community team. I think they will just um, try to spread up the game, to widen it and to go after the um, side points and not to go onto the keep. What do you think about that? I, th I think it's definitely a good idea as well for them to be doing that. They need, they need to be a lot more careful here. Just just sort of stalemating where they can be and move to points when they have good openers. So anyway, we're getting back into the fight now here on the Henge point. Uh, we currently have Arena Net defending this point in their favor. This is on their. This actually is the. Um, this actually is on the enemy side. Um, but they're doing a pretty good job of holding it off. They actually, they almost got a little hinge down. He was knocked down. And, oh, unfortunately, Nightmare's going to get bursted down by Cutie here, taking a pretty hefty amount of bursts. And Cutie's actually getting back out of there, realizing that they pretty much have that in their favor now. Yeah, in the middle of the fight, you can see Jolly Holly Folly and another guy who's just ran out of the screen um, trying <laughs> to um, defend. Oh, it's Blinks, actually. And um, Chaplin is doing his best uh, together with War in order to get to the point. So they still want the keep. I don't think that is a good idea, but 
hey, these guys will know what they're doing, and it's a fun match, so let's see how they will progress. The issue I'm seeing with, with Chaplum and Arena's team in general here um, is that they're, they don't have a Guardian available um, on their team right now to hold middle point, yeah. so it probably is not in their best interest to be setting themselves to keep. Uh, in general, with this sort of team, we saw this last weekend as well at the Tower Dive Tournament, where teams like this, uh, HMAT's team more specifically, uh, generally did a lot better job when they were playing to the side point, so I think it could be in Arena Nets, um, it could be to Arena Nets' benefit to play those side points a little more actively. What I like about the Arena Net team is that they're uh, playing with a warrior. So you can mm. see um, Nightmare is already on um, Svani to get some additional points, and they're not that bad progressing. So they have 190 points right now, and the community team has only 220 points. So they can still just switch over, they can put on pressure, they can broaden up the game, and then they could be able to win it actually. They're 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 holding they're holding up pretty well actually in my opinion. They they could come back yeah. here assuming they win this middle fight. Uh, we did we did I just, unfortunately just did lose Jolly or Holly Folly in favor of the or in favor of Arena Nets team. So they are at the advantage now, and their capital has gone that pretty well. Groucho Roo has also gone down. He was just stomped out by Nightmare. Nice job on their part. We're seeing that now, and it looks like Arena Net will actually gain control of the middle. To to my surprise, actually. Yeah, it was an awesome job they did. I think this is really important for them. They need the points and they need to be able to compete. Right now, um, the community team killed Chieftain, if I see yep. it cor correctly. And so they just um, have another advantage of about uh, 40 points over the Arena Net team. But this map, man, I saw so many games on Forest of Niflheil. And you can be able to switch that over. And we see a fight on the mine. Yep, we do see a fight on the mine erupting right now, but we do actually have the middle fight erupting, so I'm going to focus on that one for now. Currently, have power at the buck of the fight. Uh, it sort of, sort of, sort of uh, overextended a little bit here, but he's he's capitalizing on it, and he doesn't really seem to be challenged, despite the fact that he is overextended. Little Henge is getting somewhat low here, but as power has been contested now, he's probably going to want to fall back a bit. Looking over yes. To the... Go ahead. Super Super QT tried to get the mine, but he was against um, three arena net deaths, uh, so he just used the portal to get back into the mid fight in order to help his team and assist his team over there. And now they have the mine back, and they have actually two points. And power just power was really just running circles around Henge. There did an excellent job. Um, unfortunately, due to the trap ranger build, uh, little Henge does not have a lot of mobility to counter those sorts of builds where they really just get up in your face. So he really just got taken out there. And it was a nice job by power. Um, using that to his advantage. Yeah, and the community team, team actually has problems in the mid-fight. So mm. we see pretty balanced teams, and I'm really happy for it, and I can't see a way to see more games of them. I'm, I'm pretty surprised, especially over the past two weeks, that this sort of... And even now we're seeing it. We are seeing the Arena team unfortunately go down now, though, but really, the, the, even without a Guardian, they're performing quite well in these team fights, especially with the... It's, it's really good team synergy here that what we're seeing from the Arena Net team. It's pretty good, actually. Um, but what do you think about that? Yeah, look at the Rasses. I mean, they revi revived their teammates pretty fast, mm. pretty quickly, and they needed some time. So you can see it. They needed one or two minutes in order to get into the game and in order to coordinate. They are not playing as a team um, every week or every day. Um, so that's what's important for them. But you can see how they are learning and how they are starting to react really quickly on each other. Although Chaplin is going down right now, Discord is... Um, in downstate as well, um, so maybe they will lose the mid fight again. Yeah, it does look like they are going to lose it, and blue team is now splitting up among the other points. Now we do have the respawns coming in for the arena net team now, and it looks like they're going to push themselves over to Henge this time. They're currently the only one back there is he is uh, Hedge Hege Hegemony rather, so he's he's going to have a rough time, especially with his build holding off, and he just gets destroyed by there the burst from the engineers as well as the other members of the arena net team there. And now it looks like the community team is choosing to react by taking the red side boss here. We're going to see Cutie go for it. I'm going to go over to his point of view now. Yeah, he's he's no. going over there. No, he's going to you mine, actually. And he's going to mine and he will meet uh, Super Cutie over there, right? Yeah, yeah. We so have Super Chaplin. Cutie again, Chaplin, yeah. I thought Chaplin would go after uh, Svania at first, but now he's against uh, Super Cutie, who's at mine. And Ooh. Super Cutie is just ported back. <laughs> okay, he's afraid. Fake out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Cutie realizing he probably couldn't have won that 2v1, pulls back to mid and is really just wasting uh, the Arena Net team's time now. Uh, currently, we actually do have the community team up at 420 points. They're only 80 points away from winning, but the Arena Net team does hold the uh, capture point advantage right now with two capture points, and they're only really behind by about 50 points now. Chieftain did yeah. just, and Chieftain did just go down in Arena Net's favors. So that's going to bring them even closer, only 25 points behind now. 
Yeah, if you look at Nightmare, I think uh, the Arena Net team told him just to do Chief Tain and Swanee on this map. <laughs> so he's constantly <laughs> running after and chasing them and trying to kill them. And uh, if you talk to tournament teams, they always tell you, oh, we don't go after Swanee and Chief Tain. It's not just not in, worth the time. And I think they just want to show that it's actually worth mm. doing those guys. And they're keeping themselves in this, especially without the Guardian. It's really helping them out to bring themselves back into the game again. Uh, looking over to the mine, we still have that 1v1 going on over there. Discord is currently taking on a little henge, uh, so we'll come back to that in just a second. We also have a 1v1 on Keep, so we'll look at that in a minute. But we're back to the main team fight over at the henge now. Power currently looking at his point of view. Uh, actually, everyone's sort of low over here, so this really could be anyone's fight. Power's going into a corner now to heal himself back up. It looks like he's going to be chasing... It looks like he's going to be chasing... Uh, uh, some of the uh, three. Oh my goodness! Look at this. We have we have Cutie down in the back here. Little Henge down over at the mine. Uh, Blinks is down here as well. But we also have Nightmare down and Roy Kroniker down. Everyone is uh, seem uh, seemingly everyone seems to be knocked out. We still have yeah. power up, but they need and unfortunately Blinks was res in favor of the blue team. They're gonna get him back into this, and we did we did just have a vengeance come off from Nightmare. It looks like he's gonna try to res Roy, and no, he's gonna use it instead to try to CC down Blinks, get him down. Not the best choice because if they do knock him down, he still has his vengeance up. So it's uh, Nightmare's. Vengeance is gonna, about to expire here, so he will go down within the next second. Yep, there he goes. Roy Kroniker still in this, though, looking at Power's point of view again. He's back around, dodging around these corners, and it actually, the ArenaNet team won. Nicely yeah, it's their done. first win. It was really nicely done. And what really impressed me was Discord. He was Ooh. in a one-on-one -on, -one on mine, and he just played it down. He competed really well and he just managed to get this point which helped them um, in order to focus on other points at the, at that time. So that's what I really liked and GG Arena Net yeah. for the first game. So guys, once again, yeah, GG Arena, nicely done. Once again, this is a best of three, so they, they are up now. Um, but we are going to be moving on to the second map. Um, and I don't know if we're doing it now, guys, but keep uh, just to mention some more stuff again, make sure you're paying attention to the chat. We are going to be giving away three increments of uh, of 10 gold segments tonight, as well as a gem card, which thanks to MMORPG for supplying that. They are one of our sponsors. Be sure to check out the Miss League Facebook, facebook.com slash Miss League, as well as the Miss League Twitter at Miss League. And in addition, tomorrow, guys, we're going to be giving out 40,000 gems in gem yes. cards. Not to one person in a couple of giveaways, but we will be giving those out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because you will need to, that to, um, to win. Yes, of course. You need to follow right now because our giveaway in the chat is starting. So go over to the chat, look at it. Mist League already posted something and just be ready for it. We will have a quick break while the giveaway is going, doing, going on. Okay. Well, now I lost my words. <laughs> Do you want me to mute it real quick? Or? Yeah. Okay, real quick, I guess.
Hey, we are back, everybody. Welcome back to our Arena Net versus Community. I guess we could call the other team exhibition match for today. This is the once again. This is the grand opening for the Miss League, sponsored by MLORPG. Be sure to check out our Twitter at Miss League, as well as our Facebook, facebookcom slash Miss League. Uh, for those of you that missed it, we just did a lot of giveaways, but do not fret. For when we go live tomorrow with the main events, we will have 40,000 gems, not all at once, but in multiple increments to give away in the chat, so be sure to check us out tomorrow. And keep in mind, you must be subbed. Once again, for those of you who are just joining us, I am Blue, your co, your, your co yeah, your caster for today. Joined today by... At Knuffel, hi. Hello. All right. So Hello. We, so we just had that last match where ArenaNet took our first game, actually. And we're about to move into round two on Legacy of the Faux Fire. I'm going to take a quick minute. Forgot to do it on the last map, but we're going to open up our map and explain this map to those of you that are new to Guild Wars 2. As with every single Guild Wars 2 PvP map, it has three points. This is a domination style uh, game mode where, where we, for every point you hold, every two seconds you will gain a point, and the first team to 500 wins. However, each map has its own secondary objective. The teams are spawning here and here, but keep in mind each team also has a lord here and here. If either team's lord is killed, obviously you have to kill the reverse lord, then your team will gain 150 points, the 150 out of 500 points that you need to win. So we oftentimes will see a lot of last second panicked lord rushes as well as calculated lord sneaks. So it could be a fun thing to see. And it's always an exciting map. That's it for that. So let's talk about the last game real quick, though. How did, how did, so how did that go down there? If you want to give us a little briefing there. Yeah, the last match was really interesting because we saw the community team with a great start, but actually they weren't able to compete against ArenaNet in the end game of the map. So it was really interesting, and I was uh, just shocked how ArenaNet uh, managed to team up against the community team and how they managed to just um, get the keep for example i did never thought they would be able to get the keep but they managed to they had two points and what they did was they had their warrior who was always doing swanian and chieftain who brought them in so many points it was really mm -hmm. nice to see yeah it worked out pretty well for them so real quick, let's go over once again, for those of you who aren't aware, let's take a look at our teams here. On the ArenaNet side, we have Chaplum here playing for them, who I believe is, that is going to be Jonathan Sharp. Roy Kroniker, playing Roy Kroniker. Power, being played by Tyler Chapman. Robin Goodfellow, being played by... Oh my goodness, that name doesn't match. <laughs> Let me check on that. <laughs> being played by, I do not know. And a Nightmare also being played by someone who I'm not sure who his identity is in real life. But the other two Arena Net devs we have today are... We have... Well, just I'll give you the whole layout. We have Jonathan Sharp, the design lead uh, for PvP. Carl McLean, or a design lead, rather. Carl McLean is our skills and balance designer. Hugh Norfolk is a world v. world designer. We have Tyler Chapman playing Power, our PvP principal QA, as well as Roy Kroniker, a skills and balance designer. And just to confirm, thank you, Ali. Uh, Carl McLean is going to be playing Robin Goodfellow. Because I thought there was an actual Robin Goodfellow playing the name. And Nightmare is Hugh. And Nightmare is going to be played by Hugh Norfolk. And I think that just about right. Oh, yeah. And obviously the community team. We have Blinks playing Blinks. Legend Sub Cutie playing Legend Sub Cutie. Grouch <laughs> played by Grouch. Jolly Holly Folly played by Folly. And Little Hedge, played by Hegemony. And I think that wraps up our, our secondary introductions. As soon as we're ready, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, let's get it going. So if you want to find out more about the Mist League team, go over to mistleague.com. There you find all information about the upcoming league, about the prices. And um, they have planned so much, I can't even remember everything. So they are... If, when you talk to us, he was coordinating the whole league. He was yeah. just so busy over the last weeks. You couldn't reach him. He was online all the time. <laughs> I'm really, really, this guy wasn't in the hospital, but it's just a miracle that he wasn't because he was working the whole time. You could talk to him every day and night, and he's from Australia, right? Yeah. So he even isn't in the same time zone as we are. 
He's not. And so yeah, big shout out to Aussie for throwing the entire Miss League together. Really huge help for the community. And it's really going to be great to see how it forms over the next couple months here with our first season. Once again, guys, that is the big kickoff for that. We'll be starting tomorrow. This is, uh, once again, for those of you just joining us, an exhibition match we're going to be having between notable community members and five Arena Net employees. And yeah. So as soon as everybody's readied up, we're going to we're gonna go. Arena, yeah. We're just waiting on the Arena Net team now. Yeah, they will ready up in a few seconds as far as I know and um, <laughs> since we have a, a bit of time left congratulations to Kill Chain for winning the first 10 gold in the chat um, prize giveaway mm -hmm. be sure to follow this channel so Mist League because there will be more giveaways and you don't want to miss them 40,000 gems tomorrow oh my god I want to get some of those it's a lot of it's a lot of animal hats. But anyway, we're getting started here, guys. Round two of the Guild Wars 2 community versus Arena Net. Our exhibition match for today. Here we go. The splits opening up here. It looks like Arena Net is gonna completely ignore middle, actually, and go directly over to the waterfall here. Meanwhile, we have the Mesmer for Arena team taking quarry. Uh, our community team will be sending three to their water graver, but will now be diverting them over to waterfall because of this burst. Let's take a look at how it's being handled. We're gonna look at Nightmare first on the Arena Net side. Yeah, Nightmare is currently under high pressure. He has uh, really big problems with the damage incoming on him on Waterfall. Um, but he's keeping up to it, And but he hasn't any dodge rolls left. He has no Endure Pain or something. So he will go into downstate and his train was trying to heal him, revive him, but they didn't manage to. Lil Hatch at the same time is in downstate as well, but has gotten the revive. Power is in downstate right now. So Waterfall is really against Arena Net right now, if I see correctly. Yeah, we see this a lot even in professional style games where like these 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 sort of um, initial pushes to, to far side points, they get completely countered like right off the bat. It's an unfortunate thing that happens yep. even because teams are able to react quickly enough um, like like we saw our community team do here and they if they have the superior team fight then they're really just going to come out on top despite this sort of surprise play of going for that side point which is always sort of unorthodox. But as we have that now we do we did actually have Discord here who once again is running a from what I could gather um, a fairly tanky Mesmer build, uh, taking on a 1v1 over here. We have more reinforcements coming in from the arena side, as well as our community side here. Currently, Blinks and Folly, who is a, who has just gone down with power and Discord here. They're going to try to get him up, and it looks like they will. Unfortunately, that stomp did not come in quick enough. So, Jolly, Folly, rather, will be... I cannot... The name rhymes, and I can't... Anyway, so... He's back into this now, and we still have this fight going. We take a look real quick at Subcute. He's still back over at the Waterfall, which has not been capped completely for the blue team yet either, as Nightmare has just got himself up for the Vengeance. He's going to try to deal some damage on Cutie, possibly take him down before he finishes himself off. But at this point, oh no, Chaplin coming in with the Intercept is going to knock Subcutie down. And But unfortunately, I think Nightmare is going to go down before they get a chance to stomp. Yes, and Subcutie will get her, get himself back up in and in this. Let's go back over to the middle fight and see what we have going on over there. Blue, the Blue Team, our community team, has managed to cap it completely, but Discord is still holding strong over here. Yeah, and we can see at the quarry that uh, Blinks actually uh, ran away from Garavia to quarry to, in order to neutralize it and in order to get it for his own team. So we will have a free cap in just a few seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, at the graveyard side, I think Discord has really been playing a good game yeah. till now, but now he's just lost against Jolly, Holly, Folly, and Super Cutie. Well, he'd been up at a, at a 2v1 v for the longest amount yeah. of time, so there wasn't much really to hold off against that. We're going to see now Nightmare and Power taking on Grouch, Ruin, and Blinks over here at the quarry now. I think, um, I think Blinks tried to stop Power from getting on the point there initially, but it was unsuccessful. Power actually sort of chaining uh, Grouch now. We're going to see this a lot because Grouch doesn't have a lot of ability to escape these sorts of situations by portaling away. He only has what few cooldowns he has on dodges. So we're going to actually see them. It looks like uh, the community team is gonna, just going to abandon this point. Not a bad move considering a lot of teams see this. You only need a 2-cap to gain the lead, so why do you want to push for a point and lose people that you might uh, that might be disadvantaged for you to lose? Yes, and you still have the Guild Lord, so you can mm -hmm. get 150 points if you manage to kill him. And that's a tactic we've seen in a lot of games. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's it's. I I like this map. It's the best map in the game from in in my opinion. Oh, we see Grudgeru just getting stomped yeah. at the graveyard by Dishonored and Nightmare and Power. So Jolly Holly has 
real it's really in trouble right now. Yeah, power discord power discord as well as Nightmare really just bursted Grouch down there. I don't think he was at, ready for that at all, and it really just destroyed him. Uh, we still do have two members, three members now of the, our community team pulling in. I believe a fourth is also up on the ledge, but power is gonna come in and stop that as Hedger is with the traps. These traps could surprise power though. No, no, he's not gonna run into those, unfortunately, but that would have destroyed power had he run into those because of that condition. He might have had his cleanses up in Waterfield, but I'm not completely sure on that. So this team fight in mid is still rolling. Let's jump over to Discord's view now. Yeah, this team fight is still uh, rolling, and, and at Waterfall we see Lil Hatch and Groucho. We're not really sure about whether they should go <laughs> into the uh, graveyard or not, but now the graveyard we, is neutralized. We did just have Blake get a clutch res from Subcutie as he came in here pretty much at the last second, able to get himself in. Let's actually change over to Subcutie's point of view and look at him real quick. We did have Blake's finally go down as he was damaged down with that uh, illusion of light being thrown in. Now we're going to yeah, see Subcutie fall back again as Chaplum has... Oh, actually he's going to come back because it is a 2v1 over at the Waterfall. Chaplum trying to aggress, but more than likely will not be able to pull anything off there as it is a 2v1. Yeah, he was do doing a good job at Waterfall, but um, now since um, Hatch and Groucho are just um, focusing on him, he couldn't, wasn't be able to stand up against that, and now he's down and stomped. Yeah. So we will get into the game, and we will see a huge fight evolving on the graveyard. I'll tell you what, though, what it was doing is it was definitely distracting Grouch and Henge. It kept two people yeah. off the point for a good minute and a half, so even though he died in the process, it wasn't a bad distraction, in all honesty. Uh, but we are going to have them come in now, and with the full burst coming from Grouch as well as Hegemony. Let me take a look at his point of view here. Actually, nope, he's falling back. Back over to Grouch anyway. Uh, we are going to see them take that point completely for their team. And let's go back over to Henge now because I believe... No, nope. yep, he is going to be fighting Discord now. And Chaplum in just a second here as he joins the fight, but I believe he might get the chance to take out Discord before that actually happens. Uh, no. Yeah, then... Oh, well, let's... Ooh. Yeah, yep. he did. He Here's managed to... So... And, and Chaplin is not uh, re reviving him, so that's a really a downside. In my opinion, he should go to Discord and just help him. But at the same p uh, time, Lil Hatch is in oh real God. big trouble right now, and I think he will get stomped, and we'll see the revive of uh, Discord if Chaplin managed to get them in. Yeah. Yes. Chaplin was able to pull off a pretty hefty amount of bursts, Usually, more than likely coming from his bird. It tends to pull off a lot of heavy crits, which really a lot of people have issues tanking just anyone in general. And because of that, he was able to take take down Hedge, generally because he's not really, he's, a, he's very susceptible to that sort of thing, especially when running three traps, so he got taken down, and unfortunately we're not able to get back in there and stomp Discord in time, so they're still in this, but Folly getting low here, but he is, oh my goodness, that knockback, just stomping him there at the last second from stomping him down, let's actually go over to Grouch's point, if you see how he's handling the pressure from uh, Chaplin at the moment. And as we're seeing yeah. again, guys, Grouch is running an HGH build, which means he's going to be able to do a lot of damage, but he's not, and because of the elixir she's chosen to run, he's really not able to do a lot of, um, he's really not able to have a lot of defenses, almost none whatsoever, with the exception of, uh, with the exception of his heal and some of the utilities he can throw out from grenades. Yeah, and you see, um, the community team is going back to the graveyard, um, they want to defend that point, I'm not completely sure whether they need so many people, but Power and um, Roy Krona and Nightmare are putting them under, under heavy pressure, so yeah, this would make sense. And maybe we see a uh, we're seeing, sneak by one of the arena net deaths. We're seeing Nightmare do a lot of damage. The unfortunate part with him running that rifle is he's very susceptible to, to really any forms of burst. Oh, Roy Kroniker tries to throw down there and get the res up, but unfortunately the stomp went off anyway because Holly had her Aegis up and was able to and was able to stop that stomp, or was able to not have that stomp interrupted. And Power will also get bursted down here from Blinks in addition to Grouch and Hedge. He'll get taken out in addition to Cutie as well, but they they do manage to take out Folly, so Power's still in this. A nice little uh, well-timed stomp to say the least, and it looks like Arena that may cap this middle point in their own favor. Yeah, well played by them, I have to say. And maybe they are able to cap because I don't see anyone from the community team going into this point. So now they have a chance again. And uh, you can see power going to the gate. And they're not wants to open it. They're not wasting any time. They're pushing completely into this point. Yeah. Uh, now, power will be trying to take down the, the gate here and possibly go for a Lord Rush. Um, but their time is low. They may not have enough time to do so, in my opinion, if they choose to go for that full aggression. They're only going to have about... If, assuming they can, they only hold one point, which is somewhat, which is somewhat unlikely considering if they all rush in, uh, they're only going to have about mm, maybe maybe 60 seconds to take him down. And not even 60 seconds because the points are just um, uh, 
counting against them and yeah. you have to count in that anyone will go down in this Lord fight. Jolly is already after um, power. He has seen what he's doing and he'll not let him go and pass and sneak into the base. So I think this is not an option anymore. And it looks like our community team of Mislich.com is winning the fight and this map right now. It does look like they are going to win the map, assuming they can only hold this point. Uh, the Riyadh team went for sort of an all-in strategy here. Unfortunately, it did not work as when it came to the big team fights, they generally were on the losing end of that. Um, they might have had a better better chance for rushing in for Lord, but again, it, by the time they had decided to rush for this third point, it again was more than likely already too late to do so anyway. So our, our, our community team holding strong on the one point will be taking our second match, and our series is now tied at one to one. Nice one to one, and we will see Battle of Kylo next. Nice job to our community team. Yes, good game, guys. GG's being thrown out all around. Are we going to take another break to do another giveaway, or are we going to continue on? Uh, um, not completely sure, but I think we should... Um, we don't have time. Okay, we're going to go on. <laughs> But um, I think we will still be doing those giveaways in chat, assumably. Um, so be sure to look in the chat uh, from messages from our moderators about those giveaways. Once again, for those of you just joining us, this is the grand opening of Miss League, I guess you could, uh, we could, we're calling it. Uh, we're having an exhibition match currently between members of ArenaNet versus members of our Miss League community. Be sure to check out our Facebook at www.facebook.com slash MissLeague, and as well as our Twitter at MissLeague. Thanks again to our sponsor, MMORPG.com, who has supplied us with uh, gem cards not only for today, but tomorrow as well. Be sure to check out our grand opening of the league itself tomorrow. We'll be giving away 40,000 gems throughout the day, so be sure to check that out. Yeah, and the second giveaway is starting, sponsored by MMORPG.com, so just take a look at the chat, what Mist League, that's the Twitch account, is writing to you in order to win 10 gold. Oh boy, you can buy a lot with 10 gold. Yeah! I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't actually know, I don't play PvE, but... I looked um, at the auction house for the dragon rings on the on the Europe auction house, and um, they were about uh, twenty one gold. So you would have at least would have half of your dragon rings. You get a dragon wing. Uh, two dragon rings, I suppose. Well, well the ten you could buy a. <laughs> so the wing, dragon yes. bash thing, you know, the blue thing, who's just yeah, which blinks has just it. Blinks has it. <laughs> He could, no, I'm saying he could buy half a wing, like like one wing. it just sit off his back. It'd be like a fin, I guess. Well, whatever. Yeah. Terrible jokes. Let's do this. Yeah. Terrible language sir. joke. <laughs> joke. I thank you very much, Blue. <laughs> he, doesn't, he, doesn't get, he doesn't get my humor. No, I don't. Uh, okay, and believe in Carl is the word in chat right now. And I've n not seen anyone saying Hodor. Hodor. Order. That's it. There, I said it for you. All right, uh, we're gonna. I think we're just waiting on Hegemony to join this match again, and we're gonna get started right away, guys. And again, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's going really quick. And now the people start say, uh, saying, saying, "Hold on, thank you, guys. I love you all." And we have over, over five hundred viewers. So keep up the good work for the final match. And yeah, so we're getting started here in just a second. Henge has joined, so as soon as our fifth Arena Net member joins, we're going to be doing our last match. This, once again, is an exhibition match between Arena Net devs as well as our members of, from our Miss League community. Currently, the set is tied at 1 to 1. In the next couple seconds here, we'll be going into our final. The winner of this will take the bragging rights and any other rights that come with it. He will, and Snoof Ballot just won the second prize giveaway. Congrats Congratulations. Is his name Sh Snoof Ballot? Is uh, it Snoof Ballot? I'm not in the chat. I can't, I can't actually compliment. <laughs> yeah, okay. Of course. Too busy with other things. <laughs> Too busy with other things, like uh, thinking about Hodor and who would win. Hodor Chaplin right. or Hodor in a one versus one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm undecided. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're once again just waiting for our last member of the ArenaNet team to group up here, and we'll get started with our final match. 
<laughs> yeah. I wish we had music to play, but we do not, unfortunately. Too bad, yes. We don't. But at the same time, people in Germany want, uh, want to watch that as well, and we have a thing called Gamer, which is blocking YouTube videos with music in it, so good for us. We are... Uh, Miss League is an international league, and we have teams from all over the world, and um, just the team behind it, the stuff behind it is so international, and it's great to see so many people coming together to play Guild Wars 2 esports. I think that's the best thing about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. It's been amazing the past couple months here, the amount of support I've got on my channel, just every, the amount of support everyone's gotten on the tournaments. It's been incredible. It's been a wild ride, and it's only been like, what has it have been? Like a month and a half, I think, since since we really started kicking it out? Yes. Kicking yes. out the, the good stuff? So it's been a wild ride this past month and a half, and it's, it's going to be fun to see how it progresses over the next months, weeks, days, and years. That was an entirely out of order uh, date sequence, but anyway. Yeah, I just uh, lost track of all my weekends and all the things we did because, <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you know it, you have been shoutcasting so many games and we are preparing everything and there's so much work in the background going on and still you see more and more teams coming in into the community, it's really great to see that and I can't wait to see how the Mist League will perform and how it will help the community to have a to have an actual league with an organization, yeah. not just tournaments. This is Although the, tournaments are great. Yeah, this is the, uh, well, actually, this is going to be our second multi-length, or multi-day, I guess we could call it, uh, event here that we're having. The first being the Team Paradigm Invitational, which started last weekend. And uh, the second one being Miss League. We have a lot of other stuff coming up as well, too. So it's, gonna, once again, going to be really exciting to see how it progresses uh, over the next couple weeks, months, years, and so on. To yes, and the most on. important p thing about tomorrow is that you can win 40,000 gams in gam cards. So, not one person can win it, but they will hand that out. Well, so, be sure to check back tomorrow. If you're lucky enough. If you're lucky and if you're not us, because I think we are not able to win those. <laughs> not allowed. Okay, but the match is starting soon. All right, so here we go, guys. Five seconds to go. Our last match the set is currently tied at one point for our community team and one point for Arena. We switch this being thrown out on both sides, opening up the map. Let's see where the team split. This is probably the most varied map when it comes to team splits. Our Arena Net team is going to send their engineer to their trep while the blue team will be ignoring their trep. Actually, no, it looks like Grouch is going to fall back here to his trep. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to have a 2v2 in Clock Tower. Guardian and Mesmer for the community team taking on Warrior and uh, Ranger on the Arena Net team. And we also are going to have uh, Blinks, the... ML is coming here to help as well. First trap shot's coming down in favor of the Arena Net team, but it is being countered now. So both teams are going to get knocked around here. It's going to be a bouncy house in the clock tower for a couple minutes here. And it looks like Nightmare is about to go down here. Let's take a look at him. Actually, no, Subkitty being the first one to go down here, but there is a lot of support available, and unfortunately, due to those trebuchet knockbacks, uh, Arena Net team was not able to capitalize on that and get the stomp going down. Yeah, and Chaplin is having problems as well. So uh, we have uh, Super Cutie and Chaplin both in downstate. It's just a question who will rally up from this mm -hmm. one. Let's take a look and at Chaplin now. Looks like Subcute is about to go down. Blinks is trying to get a Mistress going off of there. Jolly is also down, I believe, on another point, though. And it looks like because... No, we have three members. Four members <laughs> of our community team are currently down. Nightmare is knocked out. They can't get a stop. Five! All five members of the community <laughs> team are in downstate. Oh my goodness, Nightmare just got up. They're going to try to take out someone here. Nightmare, they have to kill like all these guys. They got to watch out though because Nightmare used his vengeance. So they got to kill everyone before Nightmare goes down or everybody else is going to get up. Groucharu is down off the point. Legend Subkitty is self rezzing himself. Nightmare did manage to cleanse that vengeance because he got three free kills basically. And oh my goodness, that's terrible for our community team. Our arena team will be taking the initial midpoint here. Nicely done. 
all you can say about that is just monster kill. Wowza! Right. <laughs> <laughs> monster kill. But anyway, Mama, my monster kill. Anyway, we have we have our a three cap possibly if Power can get this point cap before Holly gets on it. Yes, Arena Net team will get a three cap here in their favor. We are gonna have our community team rally around the uh, the mansion though, and they'll be coming in here taking this back pretty easily. There's only one, only one person here is Power, and he is running a rather offensive build, so it's a good idea for him to evacuate out of there and not risk losing it. Back over to our clock tower though, we have the main bulk of the fight going on right now. Blake's trying to aggress, but unfortunately there is two members of our arena net team, so they will not be able to make much progress there. But arena net team currently up by 70 points in the set right now. With the <laughs> yeah, and it's just such a good job that they are doing. I mean, the community team just managed to get the mansion back, right? And now they are trying to focus on the clock tower. They don't spread up the game. They want to kill the trebuchet because that's causing them a lot of trouble while um, trying in to get into the clock tower. And they're doing that right now. Yep. So I think they will never play against the trebuchet anymore <laughs> if they're playing against Arena Net. <laughs> It really made that initial team fight there, and it, it was really, it was really, uh, it was really bad against our community team. They got absolutely destroyed in that initial team fight. But well, we are, we have seen the midpoint decap now. We do at the moment, however, have Shupkidi about to go down. He did get his heal up, but that did not heal him up to any safe point of health. Nightmare has gone down as he is pretty squishy and easy to take out. Probably, in my opinion, would be better to keep him on these outer points, but he's doing his best. Uh, nonetheless, we do have Subcutie and Jolly getting somewhat low here. We need to have one of the Arena Net members take him out quickly. Chaplum is also out. The strength of the Arena Net team is unfortunately weakening here in the middle point now. And it looks like our, our uh, community team will be taking our, their middle point back in their favor. Yeah, it looks it looks like the revenge of the Mist League. They are coming from the Mist <laughs> and they're taking their revenge. I think that would be a good title for them. And uh, currently, Super Cutie is on power, just uh, kicking some... Things, and <laughs> trying to get out of there. And Blink is, ha Blinks is having problems as well, or he had at least, and he's working against the Mesmer of the Arena Net team, which is Discord, mm -hmm. and who's it, chasing after him. He's gonna have a lot of trouble killing Discord too, if we've seen anything from Discord today, is that he's, he's tanky and he's really hard to kill, but he's yeah. doing a lot of damage and it looks like Blinks might get taken down here. Uh, we no. talked about his uh, build in the first place, and uh, you asked me, what is it about this build? And I'm like, oh yeah, I want to play this in Hot Joy, and it looks really fun. <laughs> But anyway, we did, we did have Discord fend off Blinks. He was not able to kill him instead. He just sort of fended him off. And Arena Net will be recapping the windmill in their favor. Our community team has come back pretty with 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 a vengeance, I should say, here now. We do have power about to decap the mansion. It looks like he's going to get a free cap on that. No members of the blue team are available for that. But they have come back now. They're only down by 20 points. We do actually still have the fight going on over at Arena Net's trebuchet, however. Uh, Roy Kroniker is still fighting Blinks over here. Uh, I don't believe Blinks is actually going for the kill. Rather, just trying to keep Kroniker off this point. And again, I apologize yeah. to, to Roy if I am mispronouncing his name. But anyway, we do have, back over here at the middle flight, we have Nightmare getting bursted down. Uh, Chaplum's trying to do his best to res him, but unfortunately there was way too much burst, and Astomp was able to get him down before Chaplum could successfully res. Chaplum also going down here, an offensive arena that has just been destroyed by our community team. But they have capped both of our side points now. As we saw, Power was able to ninja one of the side points, and they had already controlled one... Um, in the first place so they were able to bring that back and they're now extending their lead a little more now back over let's see what we got going on at windmill it looks like oh and unfortunately for the arena team that is going to be a decap as no one was there to defend it nightmare will be fighting sub cutie let me take a look at sub cutie's point of view now but he managed to get in in time so yeah. at least it wasn't capped uh, right now but he will be in trouble against the Masmer holding up against him. Um, so I think this will be in favor for Super Cutie, but now Nightmare is getting some support by Discord. And I think Super Cutie will go back from the pond and he will just um, let the guys have it. Yep, and let me check over here at the mansion actually, just real, see what's going on over there. We'll come back to that fight in just a second. Power current now, and unfortunately, Power just went down. Chaplum tried his best to res, but it's now going to be Groucharoo versus Chaplum, so we'll come back to that in just a second. Back over to Sub Cutie, though, who's currently 1v2ing. Two members of Arena Net. Discord has gone down. Nightmare's getting dangerously low. Discord is, or Nightmare's trying his best to res. He just popped, he just popped his, um, He's popped his, his immunity there, and he's able to keep himself alive. Discord porting away into stealth. He's getting dangerously low, and no, Subcute is going to go down now. It's a nightmare using the block. He's going to keep himself safe, and it looks like the Arena team is going to be able to successfully fend that off. Back over to the mansion. We did just have Chaplum go down there. Uh, we've reinforcements had come in for our community team, so they'll be taking their close point back, while the Arena will also take their close point back as well. More than likely, we'll see a fight gravitate to mid here in just a couple seconds. 
yes, we will see that in just a couple of seconds. And as far as I can see, Roy is at the trebuchet again, and Blinks is chasing after him after they once they repaired it. Um, so the Arena Net team is really trying to use the mechanics they built into the game in order to win. <laughs> well, they didn't make it, so <laughs> they didn't make it yet. But if you look at at previous matches by Arena Net, they really know their mechanics and they know why they built them in and I think it's uh, just their built-in OP mode our community team is playing <laughs> against, right? Yep. We do currently, uh, we do actually have two members of the ArenaNet team uh, aggressing this right now and they're going to take that out. Subkey to try to come into support but unfortunately he's a couple seconds late and that trebuchet will not be spared or that trebuchet will be killed rather um, in favor of, of our community team who is currently up by only about a 30 point mark so they're doing pretty good. The ArenaNet team is doing pretty good. They are, yes, absolutely. And uh, if you look at the mid fight, they could have a chance against them if they are able to team up like they did in Force of Niflheil, for example, and if they are able to just rest each other as fast as they were. Now, real quick, and this could have just been my own ignorance, but we haven't seen a lot of hedges this game. Why do you think that is? So you just been too busy back point, or just I my think, own ignorance um, and not looking at him, or? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm I'm not completely sure about it. Maybe they want to have a ranger like Team Ugly is using, for example, yeah. who's just chasing around all the time and who's just doing the special um, jobs for them. But right now, I think he hurt us because he's now in the mid fight and he's <laughs> uh, fighting against them and well, he's showing off some skills. Yeah, he's going to be here now. We're seeing again that condition damage coming in from traps, absolutely ripping apart members of the arena. That team Chaplum has been knocked out. Power is low as well. Nightmare's getting there as well as Discord, who is slightly off point, but will be jumping in now to support as it is needed. A little Henge did go down, but they just rezzed him up with the illusion of life. He's still in this fight, but they need to kill another member of the arena net team within the next about 12 seconds now. And look at these conditions on the arena net team. Nightmare and Power getting wrecked by these bursts, from, by the burst more than likely coming from Henge as well as Groucheroo here with the grenades and the trap combo. It's just destructive beyond all means. Little Henge was taken down by Nightmare and Power. They're going to try their best to stomp him, but Power and Nightmare are getting low themselves. They need to be pretty careful here. And they will. We will see an elixir go down in favor. We also have the pet res coming in us. So they, they will successfully get Henge up. Nicely done. Nice job by our community team in keeping themselves in this. Just another reminder of the score. Our community team is 400 points, or sorry, 100 points away from victory in this in this show match. Arena team close behind with only with only about a 60 point deficit. Yes. And now the blue, uh, blue team is getting back onto the clock tower. Nightmare is in problems and already down. So Discord will go down uh, in a few seconds as well. Power is already in down state. So I think they have lost um, this clock tower match and maybe the game. While we were focusing on that mid fight, I would like to note that um, that Legend Subkey, who was really running around the map a lot, he hasn't really been involved with this team fight as much, mainly due to the fact that he was over decapping Arena Net's point uh, that they held over yeah. at Windmill, so that's only going to put them at an even bigger advantage now. Nice job noticing that, and excellent job on the execution there by Subkey. And he will join the mid-fight now as it's ending. Our blue team will recapture that as well. And as our arena uh, has to capture their close point, we are closing in on victory for our community team. Yes, it, it looks that way. And that's the thing with Battle of Kylo. You don't have a mechanic which allows you to generate points really fast mm -hmm. in, 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 in a fast time. And it's all about the trebuchet. It's all about um, just holding the points. And it's a really map that is straightforward. Uh, except for, for, for example, if you look at, if you look at Forest of Niflheil, you have the creatures. Uh, if you look at Legacy of the Foulfire, you have the Guild Lord. All those are ways to just get and generate points. Yeah. You don't have that here, and so you are in trouble if you're back as Arena Net. And as we did see the GG call by the Arena Net team, that means our community team will take the show match today. Congratulations to Legend Subcutie, Groucheru, Jolly Holly Folly. Blinks and a little hegemony, and also nicely done by our Arena Net employees that, that took the time out of their day to join us today. Discord, Nightmare, Chaplum, Roy Kroniker, and Power. Yeah, good job, guys. And before you leave the stream, yeah, don't leave. We, we, yeah, will don't have leave. An, we will have another giveaway. So be. stay in chat, prepare to say hodo. 
and <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah, if you say hold up for three times on Reddit, uh, no, that was Will Wheaton. Thanks, thanks for reminding me that. I almost forgot. Um, but once again, guys, <laughs> this was the sort of grand opening for our Miss League today. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Miss League, as well as our Twitter at Miss League. The grand opening of the league itself will be happening tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be giving away 40,000 gems in gem cards in separate increments. I believe 24 increments, if I'm remembering correctly. But please, please be mind, you need to follow our Twitch channel in order to do so. Um, thanks again to our sponsor, MMORPG.com, for supplying those gem cards. And again, I have been Blue, and today has been... At Knuffel. And I am... I guess, I guess we can do our self-plugging now, correct? Yes, we can. All right, I well, guess most most of you guys know me. I'm from. Uh, I have my own channel, twitch.tv slash blue42, as well as my Twitter at doctor underscore blue. And Eric Knopf, what is uh? Where do you hail from? Yes, I'm a shoutcaster for Made in Matter, the famous European team, and you can find all about us on made-in-matter.de and if you have Google Translate you can even understand it. We have a lot of videos up there so go check it out and thanks to Mist League for allowing us to shoutcast this special match oh, yeah. and thank you for ArenaNet for giving us this great opportunity to see them actually playing and to say them uh, see them playing in a way that most of the trolls in the forums don't think they are able to all right well once again guys this has this has been the grand opening for the miss league our exhibition match which is from our community over at missleague.com versus the arena net employees our community team did take it in a 2-1 victory community team took the first match on the forest arena net I'm sorry, Arena took the first match on the Forest, um, but our community team took the next two matches on Faux Fire and Kylo. Uh, our grand opening will be occurring tomorrow, and I believe we start at, oh my goodness, uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time, I believe is our official start time, but I could be wrong on that. Clarification on that in chat if I am miscalling that. And yeah, so we're just going to finish up the giveaway, and I think um, we're going to call it today. Yeah, and the giveaway is actually yeah. get that Hodor in. I'm about to we, roll. So, we need more Hodors. Guys, you can do this. Hodor. <laughs> Hodor, Hodor, Hodor. <laughs> it would be so much easier to cast as Hodor, right? Mm -hmm. well, you, don't, you don't have to say Hodor, so, I mean... Hodor. There you go. Hodor. All right, so... I will stick to that. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you ask me a question I don't understand, Hodor. All right, well, I have been Blue, joined today by... At Knuffel. And this is Miss League. Be sure to check us out at MissLeague.com and our Twitter and Facebook links as well. I think we're going to just mute the stream and allow the giveaways to go, and that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Yes. All right, so enjoy your nights, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Be sure to check us out tomorrow morning or afternoon or night, depending on where you live. Bye-bye. See you soon.